What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have Naruto Sage Six Paths with the kunai in his mouth. You know that famous scene where Naruto and Sasuke are standing sort of side by side. So we're just focusing on Naruto, let's see, close up on his face with that determined look in his eyes. Right, so, so his eyes are underneath his headband. So we kind of have to draw that first because he's looking up. So the camera view, right, is like above his head. So when you're drawing characters, you kind of have to, you know, be aware of these things. So we're looking down on him. So then, what do we do? What do we do, you ask? Show me how to do this. Okay, I will. <laughs> um, so we'll draw the headband first. I'm on landscape paper, pencil and eraser for these, and hit pause when I move my hand, if I go too fast. Sorry if I go too fast, but I, I try and keep the video short, even though I talk so much at the start. Anyway, here we go. We'll do headband across, right? So we'll just go curved line. Now, is it a full headband? Well, yeah, kind of is. Right there. Okay, so his sideburns hang down from there. So you can do a double spike if you want. Sideburn. Sideburn. Okay. Eyes are in here then, right? And we're going to do the eyebrows first. So the eyebrows start just here, kind of in the middle. And then this goes up underneath, like so, two lines, other side. Underneath. Top eyelid then, right? So we go up, over, underneath the headband, right? And this is like real dark black inside here, okay? It's a real thick line. And then it comes, well, it goes underneath the headband, but comes down the other side and spikes down here. Right, and you gotta thicken it up. So, and then his bottom eye, bottom eye, his bottom eye lid, just here comes across, pretty flat underneath. So he's looking up at us, as I said, so the eye is underneath the top eyelid, so it curves around here. So you do a circle, just coming down from there. If you have a stencil, a coin, a compass, feel free to use them to get your circle if you want. And then the Sage Six Path Eye, well, Sage Kurama Eye, many names I know but, um, it's just a straight line like that with a thicker sage line coming across it and it's up at the top because he's looking up okay Right, that kind of thing. Go over and do something similar. Now, you can see a little bit less of this eye because his head is a little bit turned away. See, like the way the sideburns a little bit up. Right, so. So what I mean is, Say like, you can't really see much of, say his front eyelid. So we will add a little bit like here, but we can't really see anything, right? It goes up underneath his eyebrow, up underneath the headband and comes out here. And then it like spikes down, back up and over here. Of course, it depends on how you like to draw things, but 
that's the way it is in the picture. So then bottom eyelid comes across to there. And then again, iris under here, circle as much as we can fit in anyway. And he's looking up at us. So you got just in the middle here. Straight line coming down, but we got to do the sage line coming across. And it goes like underneath his eyebrow a little bit here. So whatever you can fit in really. Okay. So then we got like some frown lines and things. And then the line for his nose. And then down here. And like you can do some more sort of wrinkle lines on his face and stuff. You know, just to show that he's kind of angry, I guess. And then nostrils. One here, one there, and then the top of his mouth, and he's got the blade, the handle of the blade underneath the teeth, right? So, <clears throat> we'll go down around this way. Just there, like he's smiling, and then his mouth's kind of open here at the back. And then some teeth go down here. And on the other side, what can we see? Not much. Kind of like a mouth line and then teeth. So the teeth come across the top of the handle here and then go up behind that way kind of. And then maybe a top lip line. This is like the handle that comes out here, okay? Where? Where did that go? Let me see. Maybe a ruler. So if that's so we'll go, yeah, we'll just go this way. See what happens. Yeah, not bad, right? And then he has the end of it just down here. So we'll make it as simple as we can. So we'll just go around here, right? And then the bottom comes down this way. It's kind of curved. You could do it straight if you didn't want to do it curved. And then the spike, spiking parts that stick out. Right? So we've got the end of it here. Around circle on this end, we'll do the circle first. Inside there, and then the spikes, right? So we got like one hook spike here, comes back down, and then a straight one that kind of comes out to a point up here. And then down to there. And then this hooks out again, back underneath into there. So some extra lines on this now. So we've got like some edge lines, right? Like kind of comes out to the corner. Out to there. Another one. Then around. Ooh. To there, corner line. And then there's all writing on it. So we'll do our best with this. It's like Japanese calligraphy. So I'm just gonna do my best. I won't be able to copy it exactly, but I'll add what I can see. I'll try anyway. It probably won't be accurate. But if you're looking for accuracy, 
you can Google this and spend a bit more time trying to get whatever it says. I think it says Flying Thunder God, doesn't it? Okay, I think that's the best I can do with that. So then we'll do side of his face. So it just comes out from behind here. So we go whoop, boom to there. And then we go same way there. And then we have those marks on his face. So they're thick black lines, three of them, three on each side. on this side. And they're black inside. Right, like so. So then his ears, so coming out from the headband at the top, so curves around this way. And then joins his jaw sort of there. The other ear is skinnier because his head is turned away from us. Like that. And then some lines on the inside. A letter J is always the easiest way. And then you can add more stuff if you want. Don't need to do much on that one. He might have some scratches on his face and things. Dots and stuff like that. Hair and headband. So side of the headband comes up this way. Side like this. And then he's aligned. It just, just, just comes across. You can't see the whole thing because he's got that glowing energy. So it kind of just comes across. Maybe you could if you want to. But I think I'll just leave it with like this. And then his metal plate, curve line here, curve line here, and you kind of just bring it around. Like so. And then around the top, this way. And then to just make it look like it's 3D, another line on top. And then metal studs. And then the ninja spiral, so with a tail and then a spike. That can be a double line if you want. I can't do it with a sharpie because it just all bleeds together. So if you wanted to do that as a double line to make it look like it's scratched into the metal, you could do that. But I can't. Uh, right, so then hair all sticking out just Naruto spikes. You can make them extra spiky if you want. Some people like to, some fan arts like to make Naruto's hair more sort of uh, hairy. <laughs> like adding extra spikes like this. You can do that if you want. It's kind of cool looking. Especially when he's in this mode, you know, he's like his hair 
blown all over the place. He's got these two bigger ones on the on the edge. You know, they're like horns. And then the rest kind of just are small. And he's got a couple down behind his ear here. So headband ties, the way it's tied up. And this stuff becomes like flame as well. Yeah, like that. Then another one going off this way. Down to there. Boom. Right, and then collar. Um, he's got a stick, but we'll just we'll do his body and collar and stuff in first. This comes down like so. Then another bit sticks out here. And then that goes around the back of his neck. And like it's all black, but we should see like a line for his neck maybe there. <clears throat> there. And then his shoulder down this way with some energy sort of spikes every now and then sort of sticking off like so um, oh and on this shoulder he has circles concentric sort of circles like that and then the collar on the other side behind the kunai that way and then this goes down that way and, and then we have those symbols on his chest they're like number nines kind of and they go around like a necklace like a chain so and then like you could have well we should see some of his chin here actually comes down back up and then like a neckline or something like some fold lines for his collar Ball on there, and then what else? Okay, so stick goes this way. Might need a ruler for this one. So let me see. Okay, and then it comes out up here somewhere. Sorry now if you can hear some wind on the mic, but I have a there's a window open and it's getting really windy. And it's like whistling. <laughs> Sorry about that. You probably can't hear it, but who knows? Just in case. It's the other side of the stick there. Sharpie's wasting a little bit. So then we have those floating orbs going around his head. Now, if you have like a cup or something like circular that you could draw around, go for it. I'll just go as best I can. here 
and you can see some of his shoulder here, I think. Like that, like a full line or something there. Any other ones that we can see? No. They like flow up around his head and down this side. So, can you see one there? No. Um, that's everything, I think. And it, like as well, you can add like, you know, some more sort of floating kind of energy flicking off and sort of every now and then if you want. Um, but that's basically it. Naruto, Sage, six paths with the kunai in his mouth. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.